So this is part four. I've got the front and back wheel bearings and the seals there. I'm going to take that off and put a Jubilee clip on. The new rollers have come. This is one of the old ones. What goes up there? That one goes down there. Going to get the new plug in. Going to get the starter on as well. That's the original one. I'll be putting the power valve servo motor on next. There's the cables I've got. They're off a Derby GPR. That's the short one. That's the long one. If you see, then it was at the top. So long that one is. That one goes into this side. Just remember, I had the short one on your left. So we'll get all this put on. So just pull the black cap off. And this is the short cable I've got in my hand. Put the short cable into that slot on there on the on the servo going through the back wheel like that. Then once that's in the top hole, just wind that bolt all the way down so the cable's all the way down here. We'll do the other side, the longer one. That's the server one now, that's fully open. And I took all the little bulbs out of there, behind these, and then all the bulbs were blown. But when I put that bit wire in, wherever it's at, when I put that in, they were lighting up. So I just need them capless, capless bulbs for these jubilee clips on that pipe there. I get a pipe into there. And a rubber, little rubber bung, there's not one in. Little rubber bung as well. Get that pipe along there and then get the pipe onto the, the radiator. I've noticed that hasn't got nothing on there neither. So I've done for them to take the Jubilee clips on them. What I've just took off. I'll show the Jubilee clips. I've got that water pipe as well now with the rubber ring and the little bolt to keep it into there. I'll put the rubber ring in first. It just pushes in there like that. That hole there, you see it to the bottom. So that's a black pipe on now. We'll tighten it on at the other end. And that's on that side. Just need the little nut to go through there. So now I'm going to put the starting motor in. Just take that screw out. That's a screw for there. Make sure you've got that black ring there. Take a little gasket. On the back of your start motor. And then just... That's it. That's the one underneath. I'll just get this little screw in down here first. That's the start motor done. I've just tipped it over, it's just leaning on its stand. It's got no back wheel on, I'm putting that WR wheel on. Just I've never noticed this on the RE bracket. It hasn't got the two little things for the caliper guard. What's on DTRs, like that metal thing what comes up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that wheel on now. So that's the back wheel on. Just need to tighten up the chain on. Callop was on. I put the back brake on. The front wheel I've got in there, which is that. I've just been cleaning the um, spokes up. And that's the back wheel that came with it. The same wheel I've got on it now. Oh, because the discs are different. But the hope's good. And that's the front wheel I'm going to put on it. Just come over the wheel I bought. I bought two and they both had mint tyres on. Mission. My mission try. Next, I've got a working stator. I'm going to 
go and get the case and what came with this it's cracked but it'll work just to see if everything works once the state is wired up that's the state we've got with it this is this connector from here but I will try this once I've tried that one downstairs and I've got that old case it's just an old one so that's the state we're in Tightened up. That's the state we're on now. Carb's not on. Anyway, this this is on rigged up. That is in rigged up down to the the neutral switch. Starter was off a Jalera and had a square terminal there, so I've had to cut that off. I'll put the put a ring I'll put a ring terminal on later. This is gonna try for spark. Spawn good. So I've cleaned all the spokes that came with this wheel now. I've just put that bearing in. Just looks the same on this side. You can see the ridge where it sits. But what I like to do is get your spindle, just push it through. Should be greased up, but I'll grease that up in a minute. And the spindle's through, and you've got that spacer. I will be greasing all this up, I'm just showing this for the video. And then they've got the top bearing, what goes in there. You can see the ledge where it sits on. It's at the same height as the ledge of this spacer. But if you put the front spindle in, when you bang the bearing down, you can get the, spot, the front axle straight through. So if you don't put the axle in, this, this spacer bar, I'll show the space bar and go like that out of shape or even like that so it's not lining up now when you put this bearing in you have to move the space bar over so like I say it's best to put the spindle in then put the the bearing in when it's banged down tight to keep this spacer bar tight so we're going to grease all this up now the bearings in the freezer and then we've got the seal to put on so on the other side now i've greased all in there i've greased that pin now i'm going to get the spindle through there and that's the spindle through and that's the spacer so just put the spacer all the way down so we know it's in the right position just need to go down a touch more. Just so it's in line with the ledge. What I showed before, put the grease in where the bearing sits. The bearing's in the freezer now. The bearing, it's been in about an hour, about 50 minutes. So just put that down and it slots straight in. And then we'll just tap it down right till it's down the bottom. And then the way I'm doing it, it means everything straight the spindle the spacer the bearings so we'll tap that bearing in now so now that's in and the bearing's seated just push the seal in and then just push the seal all the way in there's a gap between the seal and the spindle because there's another bit to go on yet just going to put the tire on now and I've got that speedo drive what I've had and that space what I've got as well but I'm sure there's a box I've got with a bike with two speedo drives in and I might even have one of them in but I'm just going to put this on just so I can put the wheel on the bike so I can move it about a bit so we'll get the wheel on it hasn't got the disc on I'm just going to wait and I've punctured the tire putting that tire on again that's the front wheel on all right now with that space I've pushed into the seal I put on before so at least I can move it about a bit now just put the chain and spot on I'm just going to order a, a new one of the locking tabs for the front spot 
power valves done harness is all done doesn't mean need much done now once the carbs on so just as i was rigging all the back brake up and that i've got one of them prop allen key bolts ordered with the hole in the back what you put a circlip in anyway the master cylinder i've got but the bolt snapped i was just looking at the hose and then i remember i got some um then i remember i got some pads with it so i took the old pads out i'm going to put the new pads in the caliber i've had to take the back wheel off to do it and we'll put that caliper back on with the new pads so when you do them then bolts sit through the pads at the top that's the old pad that's the new pad in one bolt's in the other bolt's just going to go all the way through then into the back there that's the that's the hole that's the hole that's the pads in now I might have to push one pad back to push the piston back a bit but that should fit the disc should fit through there so we'll get this back on and the back wheel back on now that's the new pads in got the wheel back on got the pipe on there it's best to put that nut in when you've got the wheel off because it's hard to get into because it's dead flush to the sugar knob now i'm going to get a master cylinder if i can get the the bolt out of that one we've got plenty upstairs now just got the center bolt so just put some through the top we're just going to keep this still i've locked tight at the bolt tighten off you can tell when you get the tight anyway it's got locked tight on so that that's another thing i'm just going around tightening everything up front axle needs tightened back spindle needs tightened front spot needs done carb needs done we can find a bottle for there the harness is all right it just needs pushed back into position but if i get the air screw out the carb I'll try and start it tomorrow. I've got the oil pump in now. I just put the old tank and the old seat on with the new back panels on just to see what it would look like. Alright. Just got that pump to set up. And there was something else to do. Front caliper rod. Oh, and the other thing, what I tried to remember was the screw. I've got into it. Hopefully, it screws out. Just I'm going to get a better screwdriver tomorrow. See if I can get it out. I'm just putting the hand guards on. These are hand guards for. Me. For the RE model, and I didn't know they made them for this bike this year. But you get all the fitting kit and everything. So I'm just fitting this side now. There's the bolt that come out. A longer one goes in. So I'll keep that because they're handy them. So I'll get this one on. Then you get that colour. Colour pushes into there. Yeah, that's it pushed in there. And then I'll just get another one. So that's another spacer. There's the spacer there. I'll just tighten that up later. I just want to show it for the video. And then we've got these. And I know that's just for the screw for the other side. So we'll wash it each end. 
and the nut. Because this one just pops off. And just that screw goes on there like that. The washer at the top, the washer at the bottom, then the nut. I can't get the electric start to work yet. And I put this box on. And the one on the right looks all rusty, you want to want the battery. So I'm going to take that off. I've got a couple more check in the run just to make sure it's not that. So some more parts are come. I've got the grips, I've got the two screws, some of the tank panels at the bottom. I just need the things for the back. I'll have to find out what this colour and this little ball's for. But this is I've got the switch for the clutch side. Have a look at it because it's different to the brake switch. See there where it fits in, it's square. See the clip on the brake side, it's round. There's the terminal, so we'll fit all these on now. So that's the clutch switch on now. It's just running down there in here with all these. Got the grips on, cables wide up. We've got one of the clutch switch and the brake. I've just charged the battery up. I've put that red here up to the battery and I've put the ring terminal on there, the starter motor of the Jalera and that's onto there. Right, when I got it, this one was joined to the battery and the black earth as the earth comes off this, which is it's that one there. That earth was earthed onto the on uh, this side. But I think it should work now. Earth on there. Make sure that's rigged up. Pushing the start motor there, that's with the clutch held out because the cable isn't in. If I let it off, it's as if the clutch is pulled in. So if I try it now, because like I say, the clutch cable isn't in, so it's keeping the clutch pulled in as if it was pulled in as if you're going to start it. So that's the electric start and that working. I'll get that put in properly. I've just put that in. I've just got the carp to go in next. And then it's more or less done. Just the only thing I couldn't get that screw out. And it's too late to be getting the chisel in to bang it out. So I'll just I'll get it out tomorrow. Once we get the carb on, the electric starts working, kick starts working, it's sparking. I just need to find out where the oil cable runs up to the oil bottle and what these two are for. I bought a cap but it doesn't fit. It's, I'll show it on the video in a while soon. Um, but so far so good. And I don't know if I've showed yet but the panels have come. So I'll just get them all out and we'll have a look at them. Them all in there. So that's them all there. Should look all right when they're on. There's all new. I've got a seat cover there as well. And I've got this cable as well. I'm sure ordered it for here. I don't think it'll reach the radiator, but it might. 
but I, I don't know if it's for the oil or for here but I'm gonna have to find out what goes there in there they sent this cap for there which doesn't doesn't stay on and that come with it as well I don't know what that is I thought that went first and that stuck in it or something keep it on but it still it just doesn't even go down so see it's, it goes inside so I don't know what that is I don't know how to, like that rubber bit comes off there as well it looks the same as that one it must be a spare maybe but it even doesn't fit there doesn't seem to have a ledger in there what would what would clip round there underneath there So I'll have to try and find another oil, um, another coolant cap. I got a snorkel ordered. Like I said before, the carb to go on tomorrow, and then I've got the brakes to do, back brake as well, master cylinder, and then we go all the front light up, find some indicators. That wire there. I don't know if I've said before in any of these other videos what I've made of, of this bike but that way there, the green and black one there's a plug what goes into your clocks yeah see the, the green and black wire, it's cut that wire there is this wire here and you see see on the connector going to the clocks there's only three wires there look and going in there's a black wire that goes nowhere here so you cut this black wire here the black and green wire and it's here and you earth it to the frame somewhere with ring connector maybe on there and you earth it and this is supposed to be a restrictor I've never tried it but that's the wire but we'll give that a go and I've got a back brake pedal on order but I've just found this in one of them boxes over there there's the hole on the back where the split pin goes through. It just goes in there. So just, just screw that in. And then I'll put a pin in the back. So that's the split pin at the back. Now I've got a list of other things to do. I'll just go and show it now. So this is the list. I've got the brake bolt for the front master cylinder with the two washers. I've just rubbed that down with the wire um, the wire brush. That was the one that was on it. I found I found another one of them for the bracket that keeps the caliper on because I think one that's on is rusty. Anyway, this is what I've got to do: break the cotton washers, which is to the car, but I'm not putting on that yet. Some bold oiling, tank screws on the clutch side, jubilee clip for the bottom of the radiator, back master cylinder. Lock take the end cap on the cylinder and take the swing arm. Get a case and painted on the state side because it's got the black one on at the minute. And lock take the kickstart. So I'll do most of them now. I can do this, 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 this. So I can do most of them. That's the back of the car I've got. I've got the air screw out, got a new air screw to go in. There's normally a copper washer, you can see it, a brass washer, you can see it in there. And then a rubber ring, then the screw goes in. And a spring. And that's it there. So we're going to put these parts on the bike now. And that's the master cylinder to do. So that's that on the cut washer at each end. One of these screws is screwed up i don't know if it's that one or that one but i'll chiseled out because these have been painted and that's been painted under there right we'll get on to the next things now and that's the swing arm tightened up now what i'm going to do is take that out take this bracket off because this is this barrels off a dtr where the oil bottle runs down there and it runs through there into there into there but this oil bottle's up there and it runs down there 
So it's not going to run down there and then back into here. So I'll just take that bracket off, lock tight that, and I'll lock tight the kickstart nut and get them on. So that's that bolt locked tight it in, just I've had a couple of them pop out. Locked tight at the kickstart. So that's a sump plug in with the copper washer. Got that bolt through the front brake, so the caliper's all on now. Just need rigs up. I think there's a copper washer on the top. I need a copper washer for the bottom and put it into there for the front caliper. That's the Jubilee clip on the bottom radiator pipe now. The one on the top's on. So I found a copper washer for that, so we can get the front brake on now. So that's it on now. I've chiseled that screw out of there, so I'll be taking this off later and putting brake fluid into here. I'm going to get another master cylinder for there from upstairs, even if it's not working, I'm just going to rig it up. And if it doesn't work, I'll put a new seal kit in the master cylinder. But so far, we're up now. now. And it's just the carb next. And I've just found this master cylinder. Which the holds is alright. I've only got one cup of washer, so I'll have to find another one of them. But I'll put that on. I don't know if it works or not, but if it doesn't, I'll put a master cylinder kit in. But I'll just put it on and rig it all up so it's all rigged up. So we'll get this on now as well. So that's, that's the master cylinder on now. It's all rigged up to the back brake. Got the reservoir on as well. Top that up to my row. See if it works. I need a stud for the bottom of there. If this doesn't work, like I said before, I'll put a new seal, master cylinder seal kit in it and piston. Next we've got the carb. I'm going to put a bullet connector on there for the temperature sender. And then after that it'll be just the exhaust, the plastics. And I've got to find out where these hoses run to. And the hose off this oil. This oil bottle runs to how it gets down to here. Through that hole, through all the way up here. So I have to rig that up there. Anyway, that'll, that'll be it for this video. Alright, thanks for watching.